<laughs> yes. Let's sweep this out for a second. All right, I'm interfaced. <laughs> BFD. <laughs> okay. All right. We got it. Oh! It's lucha time. It's lucha time. It's time for the lucha. It's lucha time. It's time for the lucha. It's lucha time. Yes. It's lucha time. And when I say it's lucha time, I mean we're going to have matches with luchadors. They're going to be crazy. They're going to be insane bookings. They're going to be matches that are be like, wow, this seems like it would happen in a lucha fed. Which, if you really look upon the history of Lucha Libre and its booking of uh, what, you know, foreign wrestlers from Japan, from Canada, from America. Hmm. From all over the world. They always tend to put them together in the craziest matches. Welcome, whoever just joined. Uh, this is Valier de Perros. My Lucha promotion. Spent a couple of shekels uh, to the to the motherland. Um, and yes, so we're gonna bring you some crazy ass bookings because honestly, folks, you, you associate lucha with the wonderful, beautiful masks and the pageantry and everything else. But for me, lucha consists of the not just the pageantry, but as well as the clashing of styles, the meshing, if you will of any type of wrestler spending a sabbatical in Mexico to hone their craft and, uh, well, at the same time, displaying what they know. So we're going to have some crazy-ass bookings. Um, why no stream? I was all excited. What are you talking about, Gamerfly? Am I not up? Hi, Miss Kay. Are you seeing anything on the screen? Apparently Gamerfly cannot. Which means that uh, Twitch might be fucky for some people, to which I say, refresh. Either refresh the page or come on back. Because we are going to do some lucha. Some lucha booking. Okay. Okay, good, we see it. All right, fan, fantastic. I was worried there for a second. I was like, what? What are you talking about? For me, good. Bro. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, you see me? I don't see you. That'd be weird. Um, well, you see the broadcast. Sorry, it's hot as hell in my room. I had to pop it off. I'm not going to tell you what. But, uh, <laughs> okay. So, here we go, folks. Uh, I did a big, nice introduction as to why I'm doing a Lucha style uh, promotion today. But basically, hi, big business. Um, yes, so we're going to do some crazy ass matches today. Starting off with this tag team contest consisting of the Big Ball Man and Jeff Cobb. Better known as Hawaii 5 -0? I don't know. Um, taking on the team of Kendo and Ricky Marvin. Let's head on down to the Arena de Universario. Or Universal. Uh, for Balea de Perros, the dog fight. Oh, check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the team of e Ricky Marvin e Kendo. And their opponents, here they come. Whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the beast. <laughs> the team of Hawaii 5 0. Of, Je of Jeff Cobb. And Big Ball Man. Exactly. Mucha things. Aye. Here we go, starting things off here. Kendo getting the clobber across the face there by Big Ball Man. Off the ropes. 
Duck suit. Oh, boss man displaying that ha style as he tries to. Oh, Kendo getting a little excited there, trying to go for that wheel kick as boss man just straight up kicking him down to the ground. And another clobber over the skull. Oh, the powerbomb press. One. No, not a one. Vamos, idiota. <laughs> He's watching in the crowd. He's too old. There goes the double suplex there by Ricky Marvin and Super Kendo. The knife Edge Chomp is boss man with the uppercut. Down goes Ricky Marvin. And the test of strength. Ricky surprisingly getting the upper hand and an arm drag. Ricky over the legs there. Big boss man. Off the ropes. Kick. No, ducks it. Not that one though. Is boss man just laying in those hams. And a potato right between the eyebrows. is a chop right to the open chest there by Ricky Marvin. Ricky Marvin now, just laying in the boots himself. Scoop and a slam goes Big Boss Man, elbow to the chin. As he gets close to that corner, big overhand right to the face, tags in Jeff Cobb. Big Jeff Cobb. And Ricky don't care, Ricky is not scared of them. It's a scoop and a slam. Knife edge chop to the forearm strike, Ricky going blow for blow with the Olympian. Down goes Jeff Cobb, leg drop. Off into the rope. No, into the corner goes Jeff Cobb. But throws Ricky to the outside. As he waits in the center. The tag in now to Kendo. Maybe he'll have better luck against Cobb. Oh, Cobb blocks it, slamming Ricky's face into the turnbuckles. There's an arm drag. Big boy sent on there by Kendo. Missing that wheel kick. Off the ropes. And gets collided on. Big splash there. Almost a headbutt to the midsection by Jeff Cobb. Kendo trying to land in those spinning strikes. There's a high, high arm drag for a hip toss. Not even a one. Oh my god. The Cobb County. We're gonna call this team Cobb County. Ha <laughs> ha! There's a there's a trip out of the legs. Thank you, Wild Stallion, for that inspiration. Small package roll up one. No one count only. The pickup now by Bombman Suplex. And now, getting into that sit-down camel clutch, not hooking the arms, though, as Bauman waiting for Ricky to get tagged in. Off the ropes, Kendo's too close. Oh, trying to go for a double-team maneuver, but Bossman was not having it for the go-behind. Collides into Kendo. Step up in Zaguri there by Ricky Marvin, who now goes for the La strong. One, two, no, not a, not a two, just a one. And a roll shoulder breaker there by Big Bauman as he tags in Jeff Cobb. Double kicks to the midsections now. Ricky knowing where his focus needs to be, and that is against Cobb, but Boss Man just wanted to get one more in before climbing out. Let the tag take its place. Snapmare take over. Leg drop across the chest there by Ricky Marvin. As Cobb catches the knife edge, chop off the ropes. Here comes Ricky. No, nobody home for the crossbody. Whips off, gonna try for it again. This time ducks the line, kick to the midsection. Shining wizard by Ricky Marvin. There's a pickup. And a solid and fallen power of Jeff Cobb sending Ricky Marvin to the outside. What the hell is going on with Boss Man on the top? Elbow to the back there on to, on to Kendo, tagging now to Boss Man. Swing a neck breaker into the corner. And Ricky getting the double axe handle on the Cobb as Boss Man doing the chicken chase. Tagging to Kendo. Still cannot manage to get that kick, but that's okay. Ricky Marvin's got him with the shiny wizard in his back pocket. Off the ropes he goes, big boot to the face there by Boss Man. That's all. Round and round we go, stopping right in the center. One, two, no, still a one count only as the team of Cobb County PD for Hawaiian 5-0. Getting the control of this match, although the team of Kendo and Marvin trying their damnedest to stay alive in this contest. Shot to the midsection. Step up in Zaguri, catches Cobb on the side of the haircut. Tags in now to Ricky. Kick to the midsection. Rolls through with the senton. And now Kendo, no, Ricky just taking the spotlight away from him. As Cobb was probably gonna go for a German suplex. Flipping drop kick there by Ricky. As the pickup, look at Cobb. Once again, holding him up into space and spilling him onto the floor. And a sweet round tour of the islands. Michinoku driver on the comp. One, two, no, a two count only. Shoulder, no, a power slam by Bossman. That's Cobb getting taken for a lap. 
That's a pick up. Oh, this doesn't look good for Ricky. Glowing reverses it into a Frankenstein. One, two, no. On track there by Kendo. And now Khan picking up. But again, Ricky turns it to both. Roll the pins. One, two. Two count. Says referee, Mr. Judgment. That's Khan now wisely getting the hell out of there. Tagging in the fresher boss. Man, who gets caught into the abdominal stretch of the Kendo. But Cobb getting his partner out of that predicament. He's got the backup. Side slam backbreaker by Ballman. One, two, no. German suplex snapping. Still hanging off in the second one. And colliding in with, with Mr. Judgment. Kendo has knocked down the referee. He better be careful. Oh, to the outside. And this is very dangerous turf. The interrogation room, that corner, as he's holding on to Cobb's arm. <laughs> Ricky stomped on it, I think. As both teams now spilling to the outside of the floor, Bossman got that chair, trying to smack away Kendo, just not releasing until Cobb was able to overpower, bomb onto the floor, and now Bossman power bombing both members of the team. Down they go, Kendo better get back inside for it's too late, 20, it's over. What a brawl. I lost track of who was who was the, the the legally tagged person into that into that contest? But this was a wild out. Dog fight, Pelia de Peros. It's a draw, folks. Them draws. Them stanky draws. Open it up. This is a 97% ring out. These two teams going for the jugular as they brawl to the outside, getting a double count out. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Exactly, they are brawling to the back. Let's get to the rando here now. Oh, Dan Shokudino taking on Excalibur. Why the fuck not? <laughs> you know, for this, we're gonna we're gonna get the man who the man for the job, Rick Knox, ladies and gentlemen. Rick Knox is gonna officiate this contest. Dan Shokudino taking on Excalibur of AEW and PWG. And here comes Dan Shokudino, not affected at all by the dancing ladies. Oh yes, Excalibur used to wrestle. He was a wrestler before he became the official voice of everything. Used to come out to Surprise Your Dead by Faith No More. <laughs> Surprise! You're dead! <laughs> What's up, Knuckle? Fight! Thanks for joining us. You just if you just joined us, you missed the first contest of the team of Hawaiian 5-0 or Cobb County. Of course, I'm talking about Big Ball Man and Jeff Cobb taking on Ricky Marvin and Kendo. That went to a draw. The snapmare take over there by Dan Shokudino. Of course, Dan Shokudino, one would might say the deciding element in the success of Joseph Ryan, giving him the idea of the dick flip. Well, as Excalibur, uh, one of the PWG6, one of the minds behind it. Nice cross arm capture. Of course, Excalibur gets the spine buster there by Dan Shoku. Oh no, Dan Shoku! Squatting down into the tea bag and gets a punch to the F, but now out Excalibur getting a face full of salad into the camel clutch. Yeah, I'm corpse and bad. Um, <laughs> pulls in with that camel clutch again. I cannot believe we just saw one of the. Oh, what a cutter there by Excalibur. I don't know if he's ever done a cutter. I can't remember that. It's been so long since I've seen the man wrestle. Hooks the leg. One count only as Dan Shokudino now. Off the ropes. Drops the knee across the back of the neck of Excalibur. Although you probably wouldn't know Excalibur was a very lanky individual when he first started. I had to carry him to the back one time. Holy shit was he heavy. Ah, uh, Ginge, I had multiple entrances. I, I, I wanted to come, come up with something cool, but also not too long, which was a bitch because I, I came out to fix up Look Sharp by Dizzy Rascal and then uh, Pussy Licker by uh, Rob Zombie 
And then uh, I also came out to a song by Goblin from the Deep Red or Profondo Rosso soundtrack. But my final theme song was Baker Street. So, oh, and the thrusting, the thrust, thrust, Frankensteiner by Dan Shogodin. He's going for it again, squatting away. I hope Excalibur learned his lesson on getting away from this. No, he did not. Oh, Excalibur getting two visits to the salad bar as he heads up to the top. Elbow drop across the back of Dan Shogodino, applying that camel clutch once again. And a big brain buster by Dan Shokudino as he picks up Excalibur, who lifts those knees right to the sternum. He's like, hey, <laughs> unbelievable. As he gets up, Dino now lifting up into another brain buster. They've both been circling, trying to find, figure out their next move. As Excalibur looks like it's time to fly. Tope Suicida! And he's got a chair. He's had enough of Dino's antics. As he jams away at the midsection, drives the elbow right into the arm. Look at Chocodino. Oh, cock bottom! He's got a chair now. Excalibur better get back inside. He's bringing the chair of his own as Rick Knox. Oh, Dino catches it. He's got till five, ladies and gentlemen. Clap it away. What is Excalibur going to go for here? DDT spiking. Dead Chocodino. Dead left German suplex with a bridge. One, two. No, Dino kicks out. But he's going for the Tiger Driver, there it is! Dan Shokudino driven on his head! One, two, no! He kicked out of Excalibur's finisher! But collides with the turnbuckles, not realizing how close he was! Cockbottom once again by Dino, hooks a leg! One, two, no! There's a cutter! Oh, here comes the strike off. He tried to go for that cutter of his own as he picks up Dino, spiking up with the tombstone. Heading up to the top. Big headbutt. That Jack Skellington bastard is going hardcore. On that Shoku Dino who tucks him into the tights with the pile driver. One, two, no. They've hit each other with everything now. Each finisher. He's going for it again. Could he be successful? He got it right in the hound tooth. One, two, three, what is going on with this matchup? Dead Shoku Dino and Excalibur are going Broadway, folks. There's a cutter. Twisting the leg now, Dino gets back up to his feet, ducks it, he's got the crotch claw. As he's squeezing away, Excalibur just riling in pain. Lifts up, Brain Buster, sweet Chokuraka. Get to its section, there's a cutter once again, Dead Shoku Dino hitting up with a flurry of finishers. Excalibur's Bama Slam, hooks it, spins the leg, and now wrenching back, Dino gives up, Dino gives up, he was pulling the beer pairs. What a fight between these two individuals. 12 minutes, 37 seconds of pure war. I thought for sure that the crotch claw was going to be the one to do it. With the chin lock pulling the beard hair of Dan Shoku Dino. 12 minutes, 37 seconds. 92% by good old Mave Deltzer. Excalibur defeats Dan Shoku Dino. That was excellent. I couldn't have asked for a better match to follow the, our wild fire opening contest. Yeah, that was very, very 80s, 90s Puerto Rico. Let's see here. Rando. Lance Cade versus Don Fry. Holy shit. Okay. You know what? Why not? I mean, Lance Cade, he's a good boy. This is a weird-ass match. It's Lucha, ladies and gentlemen. Lucha bookings don't really have to make sense. They just got to be something. And this is something. Let's see how Lance Cade... Uh, holds up. <laughs> it's true, Fry definitely took down Godzilla. Just imagine what he could do with a man like Lance Cade.
Lance Cade staring right there in the middle of the eyes of the Ferro. And Don Fry just staring directly in the ring. He is ready to go. Never before has anybody looked so fitting with a giant wolf. Fight. And now knee strike to the chest as Fry waiting for Cade to come to him. Belly to belly overhead. Nicely done there. Goes for those punches. Lance, though, holding up so far. But I don't want to sound too confident in it. He gets the man like Don Fry. He stood toe to toe. But Takayama continuously potatoing each other's face. The man walked away unscathed. Somehow his mustache fuller than it was before he started the fight. Lifting knee there by Cade, but Fry is not having it as he goes for those hooking throat punches to Lance Cade. And now stretching him in with that front face lock. Leg drop by Cade. Arm drag takeover. Fry definitely giving him the benefit. Trying to give him something to go with, but the ground and pound. Surprised that didn't open him up. Goes in now. One face lock applied. Drops the elbow, though. Not going for the stretch. And Fry once again locks in those hooking uppercuts. Belly to belly into the corner this time by Lance Cade. As Fry bringing him to the center of the ring. I mean, there's no rope breaks in this one. Whoa, nice move by Cade. He knew that he was in danger. With Fry on his back, he just threw all of his weight on top of him and was able to get the one. Not a lot of people can say that. Big punch up, and Cade still standing tall as he's going blow for blow with Don Fry. But Fry victorious and punishing him further. Cade now getting again those uppercuts, and he is busted open. I just saw the blood splatter right on his face. As he goes in for the Cloverleaf Rock under Don Fry. Exactly, Cade is throwing it back. But Don Fry is just landed in thicker. Belly to belly again, he's a suplex machine. This Lance Cade as he drops it in. Right across the face of Don Fry. And Fry starting to get his strikes blocked there by Cade. Oh, gives Cade a taste of his own medicine. But once again, opening up the wound as you see the blood starting to pull into the logo of the canvas. Knife edge chomp, that was on the chin! Cade is not holding back! Drops that elbow, what's he gonna go for right here? Oh, he had Fry days for a millisecond! Goes for the leg, one, two, two count on He's got the two count on Don Fry! And Fry just throat thrusting his knuckles right in! Michinoku deal! One, two, 2.9! Cade is getting closer and closer! to getting a pinfall victory against MMA legend, Don Fry. There's a kick to the head now, both men knocked down, taking a breather. Cade gonna need a lot more refueling as Fry just took him down with that one shot, but Cade again throws all of his weight back down onto Fry. Kick to the midsection, down goes Fry, and Cade has him on spaghetti legs. There's the shot now, oh, you see it pulling up even more. The ground and pound, just completely covering. What a drop kick there by Kane. Side fresh and leg sweep, Fry just charged in. But Kane is not letting up off the ropes, but Fry hangs on, shoots in. Goes for the knee strikes to the head. Will Kane hang on? Yes, he will. And now Kane lifts up Don Fry, mention no good deal. One, two, three, Kane wins and is holding it there he cannot believe this moment and he is hanging on to it for dear life because he not a lot of people will get to say this and lord knows he may never get to say this again he just pinned don fry wow that was a surprise and a half ladies and gentlemen lance cade a man who we thought was going to be fed to the shark known as don fry Took him out with the redneck bomb. Ramichinoku deal, however you want to call it, folks. Nine minutes, 14 seconds of suspense for Lance Cade, one at 81%. Lance Cade says, eat my butt, critics.
And that's the type of rando you can see here at WFWF or Belén de Perros. My Lucha Fed, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, so far three great contests here. Yeah, you might as well tear up that obituary because we are moving on to our next contest. Let's find out. Ah, Joshi. Joshi wrestler Kagetsu is going to take on Road Warrior Animal. I said, folks, it was going to be David Goliath mismatches and intergender madness. This is one of them as one of the Road Warriors taking on a Joshi. And <laughs> let's go for it. I'm excited for this one. And I do have a main event lined up for you folks, the intergender singles competition. And the big spectacle of lights somehow dim at the dark focus of Kagetsu. She is ready to go. Here comes Road Warrior Animal. A man who is feared along with his tag team partner, Road Warrior Hawk. Not just among the streets of Chicago, but internationally. Makagetsu said she does not fear an animal, where she is one herself. Rock kick at an early attempt there by Animal. Not really a wise maneuver. Trying to go for the flying shoulder tackle, but Kagetsu ducks it. Gets the clobber across the back. See, that's what you gotta do. She stays steady and focused. She stands back. She knows that Animal could leap out with some more of those flying tactics. And look at the power of Animal as Kagetsu gets thrown down. Goes for the pin, but this ain't no job, folks. I mean, Krago, if I could prove anything here, it's definitely some getting used to for the controllers. It's different. It's nothing like you've ever played before. But it is definitely worth it, I feel, because you get unlimited uh, possibilities for creative wrestlers. Everybody's constantly making something every day, every second, every minute. And also, intergender matches, death matches, shoot style matches, uh, British rules, anything. Two. Plus weapons, you get you get light tubes in this game. You get electrified barbed wire. You get a sickle. It's it's the, it's a lot of the fun and loving parts of pro wrestling. And now the back suplex there by Kagetsu. Back to the matchup. <laughs> Sit in now, Hawk again displaying the strength. He could do that 40 minutes into there. Goes in. That arm drag there, there's a little deep pocketed. And a back brick of torture rack there by Animal. And now the strike up between Kagetsu and Animal ends with Kagetsu falling. But Animal following right behind her. One count only though. Elbow strike down goes Kagetsu. And now the shoulder claw, that's definitely something I would never expect to have seen from Road Warrior Animal. High back suplex there by Kagetsu. And she tried to shoot in for the press slam herself. Now is not the time to dick measure. You just get in there and you gotta fight him, especially somebody like Road Warrior Animal. There you go, you go for the high angle suplexes. That'll definitely get you closer to the V. And now they're going for the flurry of elbow strikes, turning around Animal. She circles a big back suplex. It was the backdrop driver. But Animal throws her down on the knee and to the side. Hooks it in. A oh, back suplex of his own, but she's back up to her feet. Snap suplex on the Road Warrior Animal as Kagetsu now picks it back up, but Animal lets her know he's still got the wits about him. With a shot to the midsection, she fires away with a snap suplex, and he gets up, stopping away at the midsection. One, two, no, not enough. And she is fighting for her life, grabs a hold of the throat. Animal slaps it away. She lifts off, no, Animal suplexing her to the outside. Two, As referee three. Rick Knox administering the count. 
Picking Animal up, driving him into the elbow, back into the corner, and she goes for the cross arm breaker. As Animal trying to slide outward. Yeah. High kick to the air, and they both three point stanced. Animal now. Oh, this doesn't look good. Big back suplex, but Kagetsu's back up to her feet. Drops that elbow. Wobbly legs, lifting up, throwing Animal into the turnbuckles, but Animal's back up, but he doesn't know exactly where he is. Slapping down Kagetsu. And the headbutts, but that just upsets her. Into the, uh, the fireman's carry, into the deal. A Death Valley pin. Spikes that elbow into the back now. She is starting to get the best of Road Warrior Animal and vice versa. We're about 10 minutes into this contest. Animal gets the drop on her. She picks him up, falling back with that Samoan drop. Backdrop driver that time, rolling Animal on the back of his head. But he rolls back down. It goes for that DDT. Or suplex, actually. Or was that a DDT? I don't know. Hit to the midsection, followed by the kick to the makeup. And now the flurry of strikes, throwing Animal down on the floor. Kagetsu sliding the baseball into the face of the Chicago native. The section now shoots in for the suplex. High angle. Animal's back up to his feet, though. Headbutt thrusting, hanging onto the ears. But Kagetsu gets the drop on the Death Valley driver. Blowing the green mist twice into the eyes. And that took a lot out of her. Animal enraged with that powerbomb press. One, two, two point nine. He's been double poisoned by Kagetsu. But it's still, it just seemed to make him more angry. And those thrusting headbutts flooring down the poisonous Kagetsu. Rolls through with a cradle. One, two, throw 2.9. Animal barely escaped that three. I'm not even ashamed to say it. My backdrop. Heads up to the top. 450 splash. One, two, three. She wins, Kagetsu. Throwing the west side, L.A. <laughs> I know that's not what she threw. But she was able to defeat Road Warrior Animal. She double poisoned him. Backdrop drivers. And finished him off with the 450 splash. She was trying for that KO. That was very, very evident. But at 94%. Oredo Costa. <laughs> 14 minutes, 7 seconds, and 94% by Maeve Deltzer. Kagetsu defeats Road Warrior Animal. All right, let's go ahead now. Move on to our next contest, eh, ladies and gentlemen. The rando calls for Magnum Tokyo versus Jun Kasai. Okay. It's Lucha. I think after this, we'll do a six-man. Unless you guys want to see a six-man now. Do you want to see a six-man now? First to first to three wins. Do you want to see a six-man or a singles? Because we could rando this shit. Six-man? All right. All right, I don't see anybody else talking about it, but you want that big six man, you got it. Wrestler. Rosie and Shuji. Nobuhiko Takata and photogenic Chris Bosch. What the hell is this team? This is Lucha, folks. This is Lucha to the core. Please don't quote photogenic Chris Bosch. People will not understand that. Um, let's see here. Big Lucha things as the team of Magnum Tokyo, Rose Z from 3 Minute Warning, and Nobuhiko Takata. We'll take, oh, let's see, I just finished a 15-hour WWE 2K16 G1 Climax. Bankhead, that sounds awesome. 
will take on the team of Jun Kasai, Shuji, and photogenic Chris Bosch. Let's get Senor Sonova to referee this. Here we go, folks. This is Lucha. Of course, Sting won, son of a bitch. <laughs> Here comes the team. I'm not even sure who is Rudos and Technicos at this point. The double Hiko Takata, Rosie, and Magnum Tokyo. As a three minute purple Magnum. <laughs> well, what if the purple Magnum warning? I don't know. They're going to take on this grab bag of fuckery. And it's Jun Kasai, Shuji, and photogenic Chris Bosch. All right, let's find out what the hell this match has in store. Senor Sonoma officiating this matchup as Kasai and Tokyo starting things off. Holds onto the ropes, kick to the midsection. Now the crazy monkey hangs onto the ropes once again as Magnum not successful with his Irish rip back, body drop, and a headbutt to the banana bunch. Those are that knife edge chops. Kuda Kamrana there by Magnum Tokyo. Double axe handle there by Kasai. Stomping away now at the back. Tag into Rosie. Irish Rip Reversal. Ooh, Kasai knew that he would be in serious trouble if he went full speed ahead against a man like Rosie. Of course, three-minute warning, one of the most, I, I would say, underappreciated tag teams, I mean. There's an arm drag takeover. And now a hit to his banana bits. Elbow strike there as Kasai holding his own against both Magnum Tokyo and Rosie. Irish Whip. Oh, Rosie sidestepped him. Tagging the Shuji. Shuji now. One of the quicker members of the team, possibly one of the fastest in this matchup. It's clobbered down, Fujiwara armbar locked in by Rosie. In the corners, Chuji, Chuji was going to charge in for it. But he's also in a bad part of town as he hits the elbow drop, dropping the knee onto the canvas, trying to summon Rosie closer to the edge of the ropes as they go for the strike off now. And Chuji drops, but wow, Rosie following very shortly right behind. Oh boy. Here we go, Nobuhiko Takada. Mixed martial artists and Japanese Puro legend. Hits him with that rolling leg lock onto Shuji, trying to ground the high flyer, which is very wise on his part. Shuji now tagging in photogenic Chris Bosch. Scoop and a slam, big boy Flippy. And now a hip broke. Bosch, a master of Seattle karate, hits that <laughs> section back body drop. Probably wouldn't be wise if he tried to go for the blow for blow, much less throw for throw with Takata, as you just saw. Punch to the head, kick to the midsection. He calls this a blood sport type of spot. Ah, get on! But down they go. And now the ground and pound. No! Chris Bosch throwing all the body weight down onto Takata. Spikes him with that elbow, tagging to Shuji. Thinks he's warm, soft him, softened him up enough. But Magnum Tokyo makes his way back into the contest, kicking down both Bosch and Shuji. High into Guri there, didn't even have to base off of it. And now, woo! Wall flip onto the turnbuckles there by Magnum Tokyo. Swing it in with that neck breaker. Drops the elbow right across. off into the corner. Tokyo now charging him with a clothesline. Gets it with that single leg Boston Crab, but Kasai kicks him off. Damn. There's a German suplex. Nice bridge there by Kasai, but he is not tagged in. He is in there against the rules. A big lariat there by Bosch. Gets thrown into the corner. Rosie now slamming him through. Oh no! Split legged boots on the Bosch one! Two, no! One count only. Surprise Bosch. Not clutching at the ribs at that point. Now it's a lot of weight coming down on you. Kick to the midsection there by Bosch. Goes over that elbow drop. And now Rosie getting the headbutt from Bosch. Tags in now to Jun Kasai. 
And surprisingly, Jun Kasai has been sticking to the technical aspects of this matchup. This is Lucha, though. Oh, baseball slide into the head of Rosie, who picks up Kasai, slamming him down, just forgetting about him. Big Lariat, and now trapping the arm, pulling the neck. And a triple kick there by Sakana. He took on all three of his opponents. Kasai with the headbutt right on the connecting forehead to forehead of Rosie. Who's now slowly dragging Kasai to his corner. Tag into Takata. Fujiwara armbar by Rosie. Kasai just escaping that sweeping roundhouse kick. And Bosch. Making sure that Takata is right where he wants him. And Takata making him pay for it for not brushing up, brushing up on his cardiovascular. Howdy, Jam Jam. Well, stupid that Achilles hold, though. Senor Sonoma ask him if he wants to get in. Shot to the midsection now. And applies the rear naked choke on the boss. Boss seems to be fading. His tag team comes to help him. Assisted powerbomb by Kasai and Bosch. Team now again with the assistant power bomb on the Takata as Magnum Tokyo try to fend off both Bosch and Kasai. Arm drag takeover. And Kasai throws Tokyo to the outside now in Bosch as a light tube. There's a lift off. Oh, he saves his partner and tracks one over the skull of Magnum Tokyo trying to hold him outside for the count out. And smack him there with a rock bottom. Step up into Curry on the Bosch. He better get back inside. Shuji with a super kick. And Bosch is another light tube. 18, 19, 20, and they got him. Magnum Tokyo running his emotions, getting the best of him. He should have got back inside. As photogenic Chris Bosch, Shuji. And Jun Kasai working together as a unit, taking out the more technical and big team. The grab bag of fuckery, that's right. The g ball Swag. 82% uh, there by Mave Delta of ring out victory. 14 minutes, 47 seconds. Let's go ahead. Make our way to our next contest, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I want to see something right here. I want to see something real quick. Uh, we're going to pick a Rando Joshi. I wish there was a way to... I mean, who should we who should we get here? Should we do Death Yamasan? Or should we do AZM, Sayaki Mitani, Deathmatch Saya, <laughs> Tan Makano. I mean, that'd be a cool one. Cutie Suzuki, it's Cutie in here. Do we have Cutie Suzuki in here? Do we have other Joshis? There we go, that would be fun. button does render select. Oh, okay. Lioness Asuka. Now, because what I want to do is, is I want to do, um, well, I wanted to do a Bit of a, a sh uh, big versus little, but Lioness is actually pretty good. So we'll do that against. So who did I have in mind?
Nah, I don't have Baba. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, though. You know what? I kind of want to see this. Yeah, we'll do it in this TNA gear. Ew. Lioness Asuka versus Low Key. Both known for their kicks. And their deadly reputations. But I want to see these two fight it out. Yeah, we're doing the cabal. <laughs> it's Lioness Asuka. Versus Cabal. I forgot he was named Cabal. Okay, now wearing the the, the wetsuit. The man's definitely had some interesting gear in his entire career. Over his tenure in professional wrestling. Here we go. Fight! And then now drop toe hold there by Loki. European uppercut on the Lioness. Who seems to be waiting for him to make a bigger move so she could drop him down. So far, simple exchanges of snapmare takeovers and elbows to the back of the head. Knife edge chopped there by Loki, just laid it in. Scooping a slam. Yep, I like the Age of 47 stuff. I thought it was a good look for him. But the fact that it ruined his, uh, his stay in New Japan. I was like, what are you doing, dude? It looks cool, but just... No. Sorry. <laughs> Shit happens, especially when you're low-key. So now driving the elbow and working over the back of the legs. Off the ropes. The key off. Almost a forearm smash there by Loki with another one to follow up as Lioness now hits him with a Fujiwara armbar, just stamping him right in the middle of the mat. Lioness now... Put him off, straight punch to the throat. Down goes Key. Gets to the midsection now. Oh, they're going kick for kick. Just like the scene from Bloodsport. <laughs> oh, and Low Key not letting up, just picking her back up to do more kicks to the chest. Into the cross, knee hold. Off the ropes. Ducks that line, but she catches him. Butterfly suplex. Lioness now, spinning kick, lands it on Loki, knocking him a few feet back. Tries to go for it again, Loki saw it coming though. Up in the corner. Saying Loki, trying to play a little bit of possum, meant for that capo kick, but nobody home. Off the ropes. Slides underneath. Right into the goal behind, she shots into midsection, lands it, and he tries to shoot in. But again, she puts him into the Fujiwara. Loki now. Short arm, Lariat. As the Lioness gets him into the Scorpion Deathlock. Drop kick, high flip there by Loki. Michinoku Driver, one, two, two count only. There's that headbutt. Landing right onto the skull. The lift off, slamming low key down as she picks him up. Sweeps the leg out from underneath him. That was legal. No Cobra Kai bend of the rules. Mongolian chop onto Lioness as low key nails in two double stomps. And again, she's trying to snap the arm of low key. And that beautiful high drop kick into the double stomp. One of the signatures of low key. This could very well be it. No, a two count only. Driving low key down on this head. Two. No. And these two are starting to get a little angry with each other. Signs of the frustration showing as low key. Key on the back of the head into the dragon sleeper. Bending backwards of the spine and neck of Lioness Asuka. Lifts off. A thwarted power bomb on the low key. Two. Two is the number. Fisherman's Buster. 
high kick to the face. She's not letting up. Just picking up Loki to dish out more punishment. Into that Fujiwara armbar. Still no give on the part of Loki. Lioness now. Oh boy, taking him to the outside. Back suplex on the floor. There's no pads there, folks. Loki sending her into the post, but she grabs a chair. Now a game of Lioness and Mouse. Off the ropes. Straight rocket punch to the face. Scorpion Deathlock applied. Trying to break the legs of Loki. She's worked the arms and the legs, but mostly that arm he is favoring. As he's still stronger than ever in those stems. Dragon Sleeper, the old school way as the body scissors applied. Bending Lioness backwards. Knife Edge attempted along with that capo kick. None of them successful. Linus gets the Frankensteiner. One, two, no! A 2.9 as she escapes the clutches of Loki, attempting to spit the poison mist. Lifts off, suplex. Irish reversal there by Key. Gets it with that soul butt. <clears throat> that flashy elbow. There's a tribute to Kijimudo. And she just nails him, says, here's your damn tribute. Locks in that Scorpion Deathlock one more time. Low-key getting a little too quick to move on to those ropes. Let's sit down, power up again. One, two, 2.9. As we draw closer to a victory, who is going to come out on top of this contest? And they are going strike for strike. Oh, that power up again. One, two, no. Key has yet to dish out a key crusher, but he wants to go strike for strike once again. Powers through with that spinning kick. Off the ropes. Giacha. Ryan Michinoku. One, two, throw. Oh boy, this is going to continue, but he's able to land her with one kick after that pinning attempt. And now really applying that dragon sleeper. Able to escape. European uppercut down goes Lioness. Floor double stomps two times, three times by Loki. As Lioness now catching her breath, she wants to put him away. Headbutt by Loki, he's getting mad. Lifts off Fisherman's Buster. And Loki's in serious trouble as Lioness picks him up. Power bomb! One, two, three! What? Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't like the look of this. Loki now bringing her back to the outside. He was going to try a suplex. I know exactly he was going to do. Kick to the midsection. Bussaw kick to the ear, throwing off her equilibrium. Mongolian chop. She locks them onto the other side of the arena. These two better get back inside. 17 seconds. End of that count out. And now, Irish Reap Reversal, Key with a drop kick. Lifts off, power bomb. One, two, three, Lioness gets the pin. There was no bounds, no boundaries. These two squared off like two warriors. 94% that Liger Bomb by Lioness Asuka taking out Loki. That was a pretty solid match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead now and clear the entry. And move on to the next rando. Oh, another intergender, Sherry Martell versus Juventud Guerrera. All right. And Sherry Martell. A legend. 
One not to be trifled with either. Coming out of retirement to wrestle here in the Lucha Libre. It's moving to Guerrero. Another individual I didn't think we'd see here. Nightbridge chop. There's a pick up. Big screaming scoop slam there by Sherry Martell. Give up. It's up now. Pick up. Nope. No luck. Suplex on to Hooven to Guerrero. Now sporting his classic mask. He's facing against Sherry Martell. Nightbridge chop. Well, through the small package. Scoop it a slam. Up into the ropes, nobody home. As you hear the screams of Sherry Martell, she's thrown to the outside by Hoobitude Guerrera. Hoobitude better not take her lightly. I mean, she is a dangerous woman. Kitchen sink applied, dropping the knee across the small of the back of Hoobitude, who unloads three rapid fire forearms into the figure four leg lock. You hear the screams? The screams are so spot on, it's crazy. Into the back now, into the camel clutch. No luck into the ropes. Lift off. Sherry now sending Hoobie packing. Bench chop as Guerrera gets caught with a kick. Whoa, nice wall flip there by Hoobitu Guerrera as Sherry kicks him into the buckles, but he fights back. Nice bench chop there. Hoobie unloading with the strikes once again on to Sherry Martell. The back elbow now. Oh, dropping him onto the knee. The ropes into the corner. Oh, just scraping the face across the rope. Three elbow strikes. And another one. And Hubi definitely using the strike game a lot more. Usually. He's doing the Lucha Libre style, the throws, the holds, everything. But Sherry Martel will not stay down as she hits that Bulldog headlock. And now going up to the top. No, decides not to. She saw Hoobie move. Snapper take over now. Hoobie now perched up. Leg drop right across. And Sherry, open hand slap. That spinning kick caught her right in the throat, but she's just... Brushing it off. DDT right on the top of the head. Drops the knee. Michinoku driver, Hoobie driver, actually two, 2.9. The snap suplex there by Guerrera. He's already hit his finisher. Could be going for the secondary, the 450 splash. Two count, three, no, 2.9. And Sherry trying to slow down the momentum of Hoobie as she now heads up to the top. Elbow! Oh, that was a fist drop! Right on the crotch, actually. <laughs> a simple sidestep with a chop to the chest floor in Hoobie. And now look at the power of Sherry. Sensational Martell! Pick up. Now a kick to the back of Hoobie. Elbow to the head. Hoobie driver, second time. One, two! 2.9 as we pass the 10 minute mark in this matchup. So far, Sherry Martell has taken three, no, four finishers. Wait, that five finishers by Hoovy. He's going up for a sixth one. But she still rises to the occasion. That neck breaker, one, two. Off the ropes, colliding.
And she's now getting closer to the three count against Hoobie, who nailed six of his finishers. On the Sherry Martell, she doesn't seem to have a point of slowing down. School go up, one, two, no! Thought for sure the sneaky tactics would be enough. And you saw Hoobie had his hand across the shoulders as well with a handful of tights. But gets the neck breaker on the Sherry, since it's gonna go for one more. Leg drop guillotine right across the chest, heading up once again. Second leg drop. Hoobie is completely out of gas at this point. But Sherry just rising up. 450 once again. And Sherry just slapping the bejesus out of Hoovy. Fifth drop to the crotch. And a knee drop that time. Into the corner goes Hoovy. And she's just unleashing those punches right on the face of Hoovy. Off the ropes. Ah, I bet chop. Big open hand slap. Fifth drop missed Hoovy. Has the upper hand now, drop kick to the back of the head. Sherry Martell is a force of nature. Boot up by Hoovy. And once again, a leg drop guillotine. He is not winning up on the aerial arsenal on the Sherry Martell. But Sherry will not stay down. There's a cutter. Ball rolling <laughs> kick to the back of the head. One, two, three. He just had to do an extraordinary amount of high flying assaults. A bombing of finishers and strikes off the top of the rope, ending it with that double heel kick. Rolling heel kick. The somersault missile kick is what they call it. To the back of the head of Sherry Martell. 100% because she would not stay down. She just kept coming at him. All right. All right. That was, that was dope. All right. I think it's time for our main event, ladies and gentlemen. But we're gonna do something special. I was gonna do a singles competition, but I actually wanna see this here. We're gonna see. Connect versus Chihiro Hashimoto versus The human suplex machine, machine Taz, machine <laughs> versus where is he? Where is he? The Beast Bob Sap. Yeah, Red Shoes can host that one. Oh, that's Taz. Oh, you want more? Okay, fine. We'll get more. We'll get more. We'll do one more Haas.
PCO versus the Lightning Kid, Sean Waltman. Dragon Kid. And Saya Kimitani. Saya Kamitani, excuse me. Alright, here we go. To the to the end, to the elimination. Who will be the last person left standing in this grab bag? Our main event of Palia de Peros. Lucha style booking. Let's do this right now. have sounded off as Chihiro goes in Taz getting her into a submission predicament PCO versus Bob Sap you can bet your ass I'd love to see that Messiah now Give the strike off against El Connect and Dragon Kid and now Sean Wolfman taking on PCO and Taz power by Messiah on to Dragon Kid DDT now. Oh, Waltman in a bad place. Double suplex there. By Saya and PCO. As Chihiro and Sap tag teaming on to El Connect. Slay to the outside. PCO versus Dragon Kid. Gonna slam there by Taz on the Waltman. And Sap just destroying Dragon Kid. Scoop and a slam. And this time, <laughs> Shihiro and El Connect getting that one. As Saya getting the strike on the Bob Sap. PCO <laughs> getting thrown in. Saya trying to go for the first elimination on Dragon Kid. High angle hip toss. And she's going for a strike off with PCO. Who's going to win this one? Down goes PCO. But the ref is down! Taz and Shihiro went strike for strike as well! Connect with the wall flip! I think the ref's dead! <laughs> and Sap with a power display throwing Connect! Frankensteiner by Dragon Kid! But Sap making that a short dream! Sap now getting the. Scoop slam, watch your eye on Dragon Kid! Split mega boots on one! One count only. And Taz about to get a running knee strike there from PCO. Single leg grab. Messiah from Chihiro. Waltman trying to get that spinning soul butt kick, but nobody home. Gets a double axe handle though. Heads off into the ropes. Waltman with a knee strike on the Taz. Yeah. Hesaya just going blow for blow again with PCO, and she's in a dangerous corner. Drop kicking Bob Sap through the ropes. Two, three. Saya, 
trying to get the German suplex, but no, she gets launched into orbit by Chikino Hashimoto. And Connect getting the hammer blows from the Beast Bomb Sap. Oh, full Nelson slam. Ground and pound. No up, power bomb into the corner. The well, he's strong by Connect. One, two, two count only. Suplex there by Taz. Step up in Zagiri there by Dragon Kid onto Chihiro. Taz just rocking the bells of Deathmatch Saya. Hooks the leg. One, two. Double two counts. As Taz now simply choking Chihiro Hashimoto. Oh, he's strong the Dragon Kid. One, two, no. And Chihiro going back up. Flipping Big Girl Senton. My favorite. One, two, no. Taz survives. Two of those rolling Sentons on the top. Scoop and a slam. Rolling Senton out by Taz. It's almost as if they're letting each other know who does one better. Zaya double suplex by Connect and PCO. Run Lariat by Chihiro on the Taz. One, two, one, two, no. Chihiro trying to get the back slider on a connect. Northern Lights flex there by Taz, but nobody home to count. One, no. I don't know who put the count, but it is a full on cluster. Taz getting thrown into the corner while Walden gets decked out by Bob Sapp. Little stretch by Chihiro on the Dragon Kit now. PCL makes a save. Two. It's up now. Yeah. Rolls through Chihiro, picking up, power bombing, deadlift. Two. But look at Walden. No, he was gonna power bomb Bob Sapp. But Chihiro cut the plan short! Throwing Waltman into the corner. One, two! PCO escapes the Mahistro. As Chihiro in the submission by Connect. Elbow smashed by Taz on Asaya. And now Sap heading up to the top, courtesy of Waltman. Superplex! Cutter. Throwing Cutter there by Dragon Kid, who could be going for the Dragon Run and next! And he catches Sap! One, two, go! Cat, Sap actually threw Waltman out of the way and caught the, the, the Rana from Dragon Kid. And sit down, Boston, grabbed by Chakito. 2.9 on that Northern Lights bridge on the PCO by Taz. Well, connect. Oh, PCO. And Chihiro going for elbows. Chihiro strikes down with a lariat. And German suplexes connect outside the ring. It is a car crash here, folks. Everybody's getting thrown. Everybody's getting knocked out. Exploder suplex there by Taz in the corner on the Sean Waltman. Who hits the cut to Hajime on the Bob Sap? The abdominal stretch with your hero on the Saya. Saya's eliminated. Yeah. Or wait, who's eliminated? I thought somebody got eliminated. Oh yeah, Saya did. She was just letting in her last strikes on the Chikino before going out. What the hell's PCO doing? Whoa, Chikino throwing! Dragon Kid almost into the stands. And Connect colliding with Dragon Kid as Sap dancing. Gets Taz off of Waltman. It seems like he wants Waltman to himself. He'll kick onto the back of the head of Chihiro by Dragon Kid. Rolling elbow, nobody home for PCO. 
who grasps up Sap, choke slam, down goes Sap. And now Connect going for the ride. And Taz takes it out, John Roman in the torture rack by Bob Sap. Powerbomb into a single leg crab by Chihiro on the Dragon Kid. Who's going to be the next eliminated? Ah, oh, Taz dropping Dragon Kid right on his head. Ozu poking kick there by Waltman. Setting Moon Salt. Still a two count, anyone's game. Cutter there by Dragon Kid. Now Waltman assisted powerbomb by him and Chiquito. Camel clutch there as Waltman. But Sap gets into another cutter by Dragon Kid. Connect press slamming Chiquito as Kid and PCO collide. And now the deadlift German suplex there on the connect by Chiquito. I thought Sap was going to go for a ride, but no luck on that one. Power lift off bomb on the Taz. Dragon Kid is eliminated by Waltman. Rolling big girl sent on, but nobody home for Chiquito. Headbutt missed by Sap. And Chihiro throwing connect to the outside, going after Taz. Taz trying to deflect that German suplex while PCO throws his ass outside the ring. Big pile driver there by Connect on the Waltman. And now Chiquito locking on the submission body scissors to Sean Waltman. PCO lifted up and slammed by Connect. German suplex by PCO. Cass goes for the pin. Two. Connect set to the outside, courtesy of Waltman suplex. Soul butt there, big swing and tree. By right, PCO tries to go for the choke slam, but Waltman smashes it away. Package plow driver out of Connect. Waltman fighting away, but he tried to climb up the turnbuckle, but a huge hoss got in the way. Everybody's escaping the pitting attempts in this contest. Waltman just can't seem to get up the top. PCO is, and just climbs back down. Step up in Zaguri. Everybody is tired of this matchup. Everybody's down. Chihiro, the first one back up to her feet, trying to see who is the next one. Irish Ripper versus Connect. Short arm close on there by PCO as Waltman's get the boots by Taz. One, two. And the torture rack applied. Chiquito is out. Rolling fit fucking Finley roll by PCO as he picks up. No, Waltman gets the reversal. Suplexing PCO on the outside while Connect slaps Taz. Two. Oh, the count of the outside interrupts. A lateral press. Exploder onto the floor. Suplex there by PCO on the Taz. As Waltman throws to the outside. Waltman, I'm surprised, has lasted this long in this contest. Reverses Taz's attempt at the Northern Light Suplex into the DDT. And it submits Taz! X-Pac Heat for Sean Waltman, who just submitted the Human Suplex Machine, Taz! Trying to go for the backdrop kick combination. Lariat's connect and hits that patented... <laughs> weird shit! He managed to eliminate connect with it! 
will he get? PCO? He did get PCO! <laughs> You've gotta be shitting me! <laughs> it's Lucha, ladies and gentlemen! This is the most Lucha finish I have ever seen! <laughs> Everybody getting that X Pac heat for Sean Waltman, ladies and gentlemen. 100%. Octopus hold, schoolboy, Japanese stuff, torture rack, chin lock, chin lock, elbow, leg lock. That is it. Wow, what a fucky ending. Thank you, Sean Waltman. <laughs> well, to be fair, he didn't necessarily do all the work himself. It was the work of everybody else in that collective. But we definitely have some dream matchups to look forward to in our next broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. But until then, I want to thank you for joining us here today for Bandia de Peros. The first episode. We got a couple of other promotions to go uh, in this WFW Fire Pro Netwood. But I want to thank you for joining me here today, folks. I might broadcast later, I might not. But either way, I will be broadcasting again. Whether it be tomorrow or today. Thank you so much for joining me. Follow this channel. Follow me at Dino Winwood on Twitter. Uh, yeah, thank you again. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Practice your social, uh, you know, your social distancing. Only go out for essentials. And above all, folks, be safe. I love you so much. This is Dino Widwood saying thank you again and OU818.